Yeah, I, I guess um, Kim. So, like, uh, the probably the best place to start, obviously, is um, how do you kind of get started in terms of um, blogging? Yeah. What was the what was the um, I guess like what big moment? You? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, for me, I well I actually started blogging, like mm. you know, writing a blog back. Oh, this is like back when I was in high school. Yeah. And then uh, what made me take it more seriously was when I went to Japan for the very first time back in 2011. Yeah. Uh, I really wanted to remember my trip. So I made a blog post like every single day yeah. just to remember for memories. And that's when I started vlogging as well. Um, I filmed a bunch of clips here and there yeah. and then I tried to put it together in a video. And I mainly just started just because I wanted to keep it as a memory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So with that though, like, like you're creating like this kind of like diary for yourself yeah. did you did you expect when did you start getting feedback from people going i love this was uh, it pretty quick or was it just it was quite slow cause yeah of course yeah. when you upload like you don't get any views yeah, and, yeah. but i wasn't doing it for views i didn't care how many yeah, views i got yeah um it, it was really slow yeah start. no absolutely i i think yeah. a lot of people think it's like an overnight success yeah, thing it's and it's <laughs> it's not. you have to i i think the big thing most most people don't understand with like these creative like passions that end up kind of like whether they turn into money or not mm. um you have to be passionate about it first because yes. uh i would say the big thing especially uh, when you're like um doing blogging people can very much um tell when you're pretty fake about it yeah definitely because yeah. for me like when i first started I mean, I made no money. Yeah. And when I got into the partner program, my first month I made 28 cents. Yeah. So um, that was lovely. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, like as long as you're doing it because you love it, not for the money. Yeah, then, yeah. Yeah, it yeah it's, it's, it's funny like that. I have, I have a good friend of mine who he's, um, he, he's started a Patreon because he does yeah. a podcast. And oh, he yeah. was like, oh, 100 bucks. Yes. Yeah. Um, and it, it is, but it, it's like, it shows that people like, they they want you to keep doing what you're doing. It's yeah. like encouragement almost. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I I guess like what was um what's changed in terms of how you did it when you first started and now like was there yeah. was it what is it more an editing thing? Uh, it's a bit of everything. So mm. before at the start I didn't really care about anything. Yeah. Like it was just for fun. So I was just vlogging because I wanted to. Yeah. Um, I made makeup videos back then as well because yeah. I wanted to. Yeah. But now obviously things have changed. So um, when you I guess grow a bit bigger, you get sponsors. So mm. sometimes you have to make videos you don't exactly want to make, mm. but you have to. Um, so how do you, how do you make those interesting then? Because if, if it's not something you like, re you're really passionate about. How yeah. do you how do you bring passion to that? Oh, uh, so I mean, I turned down a lot of sponsorships first of all. Yep. <laughs> um, but like, if it's a product I actually like, I will try and incorporate it in a video that I would film usually so for example yeah. like a routine video like morning routine like makeup routine yeah. or a, in in a travel vlog I'll, I'll put it in yeah um but yeah like now when i film i have to think about a lot of things like lighting um yeah. cameras i have to think yeah. about sound and everything but back in the day i didn't care about that yeah, yeah yeah so what's that what's that look like in terms of uh i guess like so were you i guess the one of the best questions to ask is were you into design or anything was there like something aesthetically um, that you you really tried to bring like when you're creating these memories where yeah. you're like i i really like putting colors together or uh, anything like that well i used to do photography for fun back yeah. in the day and yeah i i remember back then like i didn't really know anything about color mm. grading or any like i just mm. like cut my video up and then yeah. added a bit of text here and there that, yeah, that's yeah. all i ever did um but i do have a photoshop background because i was a bored Ten year old, and then <laughs> I just played with Photoshop. So yeah. I'm glad I did that because yeah. now I know how to, you know, make more effects and graphics on my yeah. video. So yeah, that's definitely. Yeah, out. I mean that's a big thing. I, I do think it's always quite funny. Like people think it's just something you kind of all of a sudden you're interested in it. But I, I yeah. think it's I think it's one of those things, especially when you're doing that little stuff. It makes a huge difference yeah. on long term. Yeah, because I start off with photography, and then I just remember because back in the day. Um, there weren't many people that had cameras and stuff, yeah. so it was good. And then everyone started buying cameras because <laughs> they became more affordable. Um, and then because of that, I was like, look, there's too much competition. I'm just going to move to YouTube. So that's why I moved on to YouTube. Okay. Yeah, so that was kind of... Did, was it, yeah. was it um, that, did you just, 
what was what was the reason for the because I'm sure there's other reasons for the shift as well mm. was it was it also just you you more attracted to I guess like editing videos over doing yeah. photos as well um okay like this is kind of weird because back <laughs> then I loved editing videos it yeah. was so fun but now I hate it um, <laughs> because I guess it's once it becomes your job yeah, you hate it yeah. but I love editing photos yeah so I'm like thinking about going back to photography yeah. but I'm scared if I do I'll hate photography again I, I think I think you it's always I mean? yeah no yeah. absolutely I, I I have um commercial clients I, I'm yeah. I'm not a I, I guess like a influencer or a blogger yeah. but I I want the big thing for me I would I would do is like I, I try to keep my personal and my professional work yes. very separate. Yes. Because yeah, as you said, otherwise it does get tiresome. If if yeah. it's if it's all for someone else, it's not really for you. It's and not the same. Yeah. yeah. Like um, for me, because I used to love. Um, mm. I mean, I still do, but I used to love travel. Mm. Um, but then when you travel for work, it's different. Yeah. And you don't. It's not the same. Like yeah. you don't love it as much when you travel. Like if you travel for work, because you're there for work and mm. not for fun. So. Yeah, um, things change when you. Do you do is it, it sh are there shorter trips though when you're doing it for work? Is that yeah. the other thing? Yeah. yeah, shorter trips and you know just being stuck in a plane all day. Yeah. It's not, it's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, I, I know what you mean. I I tour I toured a bit as a music photographer and that's yeah. I I loved um I love I loved actually the like actually getting home and going through all the kind yeah. of craziness but then during it, doing it yeah you're like it's, oh. it's so it's so tiring <laughs> yeah yeah it's, it's, it's um mm. anyone who does like and i i'm not a i'm not a good flyer like i, yeah. I are you a good i i am because yeah. i sleep i just sleep the whole entire <laughs> night so i'm good yeah 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 so i so what's what's like um the i guess like the three big moments and we'll start with the first one so yep. what was what was the first big moment that made you go i can make this work Oh, um, probably in my second year of doing YouTube. Yeah. Um, because back then I was doing like a lot of videos on fashion and makeup, yeah. and like there was this one brand I loved. It was like a Japanese clothing mm. brand, and yeah, I I loved them so much. I made so many videos about them just because I loved yeah. them, and they found my videos and reached out to me, <laughs> and then they flew me to Japan. Um, this is back eight years ago so yeah. that was huge for me mm. flew me to japan i met the like people of the company and then they flew me around the world to promote um their brand so yeah. like back then i only had like i don't know twenty thousand subscribers yeah. so i don't even know why they chose me i i think but it's yeah. but it's like that as well like eight years ago that's that's still a big number compared to now it's yeah. uh, i do think it's kind of like it's it's almost like a commodity it's a lot easier especially with like these new platforms like tiktok yes yeah. um where it's like they want people to be big quickly because mm -hmm. then it looks like like their platform's really popular as yeah, well. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. I, I, I do think 20,000 back then was a lot bigger. And yeah. you're talking YouTube here as well? Yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, that's a lot back then, like eight years ago yeah, with YouTube. Yeah, I guess, yeah, back then. Yeah. yeah. Well, so what was the um, next big thing? So you, you had that. I'm guessing yeah. then, like, nothing kind of compared for a while to doing something nothing like that. Nothing compared, no, <laughs> nothing compared for a while. Um, I ended up leaving because yep. I didn't want to do it anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and then the next big thing. So what, what brought you back then? Let's start there. Yeah, um, oh, brought me back. To, um, like, doing doing content. Oh, um. I don't know, like... You, you, did I, you just realise you missed it? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I missed yeah. it. And then uh, yeah. I think the next big thing was when I decided to move to Japan. Yeah. Um, so I lived there for, how long? Two years-ish? Yeah. Um, and at the time when I moved to Japan, it was really scary. I had, like, no job lined up. I quit yeah. my job in Australia and everything, <laughs> moved over. And, you know, things were tough at the start. Mm. But then I just kept on making videos because I, I just yeah. generally wanted to make videos in Japan. And... Um, yeah, that was the next big step I made, and then I guess the third big step. Yeah, so you you step. got you got a bit sick of it. You come back to it. Yeah. Um, and I mean you've moved to Japan. So I mean, yeah. I mean the other I always for me I I I know I'm sure it's probably the same for you when you're in a new environment as well. It's it's like it's Japan was the reason you kind of started doing yes, this. It was. Um, yeah. So I'm guessing that's kind of like. I'm I'm kind of like kicking myself in the foot here, yeah. like uh, not like this is this is where I wanted to create stuff. Yep. Yeah. Mm. So, like, what was the next? What What was that next big thing then? Um, I guess actually moving to Sydney because yeah. I only just moved over last year. Yeah. So I'm um, pretty new to Sydney, and yes, yeah, so ever since I moved over, because there's so much more here. Um, yeah. Because I'm from Perth. There's yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, there. yeah. Um, but in Sydney, there's a lot more going on, a lot more events. Like brands are all here. Yeah. The offices are all here. So. 
yeah, um, I guess moving to Sydney definitely changed my life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's it is a strange time right now. We it won't is, we yeah. won't we won't talk too much about that because <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like everyone's probably sick of hearing about yeah, that. Yeah. Um, but like uh, so we've now spoken about like where um you're at right now. Is there mm. anything that you kind of considering things have changed quite dramatically that yeah. you're now like focusing on more? Um yeah, because obviously we can't travel right yeah. now, which really sucks. <laughs> and um my. My content was based yeah. around travel, yeah, yeah. so um, I have um, a few channels and my main channel was basically about Japan and yeah. traveling and how to's and all, yeah. and I was planning a lot of big videos because of the Olympics this year, <laughs> so I was planning yeah. to travel so much to Japan, I cancelled all my trips mm. and then um, yeah, for me, it was difficult at the start because um, there was just no work for mm. in March and April, yeah. um, so I was just at home playing Animal Crossing for like 600 <laughs> hours. So that's, yeah, I, I, I played a lot of Animal Crossing. That's, that's um, fair enough. Yeah, so I did that for like two months and creating content was difficult because I was just stuck at home. I yeah. wasn't used to that. But then I ended up making videos like, like you know, cooking videos and yeah, stuff. Yeah, trying people, something new. Yeah, something yeah. new. And I guess people seem to enjoy that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's making the most of a bad situation. Yeah. And I, I think everyone's having to do that. So, mm. I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those things as well. It's like, I bet there's absolutely no... Like I think a lot of creators right now, um, myself especially, I, f I felt this especially. Mm -hmm. It's like it's been kind of good because there's been no pressure. Yeah, that's like true. It, it's nice because it's like, oh wow, like everything's kind of stopped, so yeah. I can I can I can take my time with this next stuff, which mm -hmm. I think's been nice. Um, yeah. But yeah, the the not working part. I mean, it does. Yeah, that, that did bit. suck a bit. Yeah, I was really, I was um, yeah, it was hard to deal with. Yeah. But I had Animal Crossing, yeah, so I was, yeah, I was yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nintendo Switch is um, yeah. that, maybe that's what you should partner with. Yeah, um, yeah. Like it was. This is so embarrassing. But I bought a new Switch last week because I wanted another island on Animal Crossing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I did that last week. <laughs> No, fair enough. Yeah. I mean, if 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 that's um, what uh, I guess like is um, keeping you um, sane, it keeps me yeah, um, yeah. occupied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um. So I I guess like um we've now spoken a bit about like um creating, but what do you use to create that? Oh, um, to because you've got content. your uh, yeah. I have friend here. um this this is a Sony ZV one that just came out like yeah. a month ago. We'll do that this camera. Yeah. yeah. There we go. <laughs> It's got a flip screen and yeah, I use this camera to vlog because it's easy, yeah. but this is not the main camera I use. Like I do have a Lumix GH4 um, yeah. back at home and I use that to film my main channel videos. Um, I do have a Sony Alpha 6400. Yeah. Um, I use that to film as well. But for vlogging, I just carry this around. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's nice and easy. Small and easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah so no, I've, I've got yeah. my um, little camera and then, you know, I've got my my work ones like the one on the, oh, end yes, of the table there yeah. yeah so i i t it's yeah there's there's not one tool for everything no i have a couple for but, different uh, things yeah uh, i guess what did, what are the what what apps and what how do you how, what's your process in terms of like actually putting the stuff yeah. together then um i usually edit on final cut pro yeah. um and yeah i just do cuts edits um music on there i do sometimes send it off to an editor to help me do like graphics and stuff mm, like that mm. but usually i do everything myself yeah. and yeah some final cut yeah um is there like a process do you like do you take a week to kind of like decompress you're like i'm yeah i I'm, i've now spent like three days filming this and getting yes. this right yeah i try or well, i try and upload every week um mm. but the problem is because i've got multiple channels it's quite difficult so on my main channel i do like one video every one or two weeks mm. um yeah I, I would take about two to three days to film a video and then maybe three to four days to edit yeah. but um yeah because i take too long to edit because i procrastinate <laughs> um i'm I trying to I would say procrastinate. You need time. Like yeah. it takes it takes time to kind it of like. It takes so much yeah, time. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like I could be doing something else with that time. Yeah. So that's why recently I've been like sending them off to other people yeah. to help me edit. Yeah. Yeah. So with with the actual edits though themselves, mm -hmm. um, and you like you're saying it takes like two to three days to film. Do you mean mm -hmm. like it's like multiple takes, or you try multiple different takes. things? Yeah. So it depends on the video, um, of course. Like if it's a routine video, yeah. it will take me one whole day. It's just multiple takes. Yeah, yeah. If I'm just doing like a sit down talking video, it's much easier. But I like B roll. Yeah. And that takes me forever to film. But it's it's fun. Like B roll yeah. is really really fun. Like I, I mean, you guys yeah. can probably see I'm switching cameras as well here. Yes. Um, and it's like I, I otherwise I feel like things do get a little like boring. It and gets boring. Yeah, yeah. That's what I feel anyway. Yeah. 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 No. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, so. You, when you were starting off, um, it's obviously very different to what it is now. Mm -hmm. If anyone was like, uh, I guess, looking to get started in mm -hmm. like just just creating stuff for themselves, yeah. what what what's the 
um, two tools you'd tell them to start with? Because I think uh, the, the, you know, everyone kind of yeah. go, uh, so much of the time it's like, I, I'm going to buy like this camera and this thing and yeah. it, it can get really confusing. Like honestly, um, if you're just starting out, just use your phone. Mm. Like, because phones these days, like, you, like yeah. it's they're good. Like, you yeah. can take good photos, you can take good videos. Um, I don't think you should buy a camera straight away if you yeah. don't know if this is what you want to do. Because yeah. buying a camera, like, it's like a grand, you're investing so much money, and if you stop using it, it's a waste. Yeah. So, definitely, yeah, just, just use your phone, that's fine. Um, and yeah, definitely learn how to edit. Yeah. So, um, you you don't need to do anything fancy just learn how to do simple cuts here and there add a bit of music yeah. add simple text that's all you need at the yeah. start did it, was there anyone who kind of um like helped in terms of you looked at their stuff and you were like i love them to start mm. with um and you kind of like used them as kind of like a reference yes, point i did that um yeah. when i first started i watched bob's beauty like she's like um a beauty uh yeah. Yeah, I guess person like back in the day. This is like ten years ago, and I bought a MacBook Pro just yep. because I knew she had one, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy it because she had it, and she used iMovie back yep. in the day, and I yep. was like, well, yep. if it, because she used iMovie, I'm gonna do that yep. too. So yeah, she she was def definitely um, an inspiration for me when I first started. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, um, was there anyone like else or any any like I I feel like the other thing like ten years ago Tumblr was kind of big as well. Oh yeah, that was yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I used to spend a lot of time oh, like finding like for photos like like yeah. I love that I love that. Oh, I was different. I used to use Flickr. Do you Flickr? remember yeah. back in the day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I used Flickr that was, a lot. Flickr was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, they, I think the other cool thing with those things is they had communities as well. It wasn't they did, just yeah. Um, it, yeah. Back then I was part of like a per. Uh, photography group yeah yeah so that was on Flickr back in the day yeah yeah, yeah. there's so there's some good facebook ones now um yeah. but it, it is always really funny with those like groups because it's they do tend to move and it, it's do, usually yeah. like um like four or five people with like um, big personalities yeah. and then like uh, 500 other people who are just yeah. what reading and watching yeah i'm i'm just a lurker when it comes to facebook <laughs> i never post I, yeah I lurk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you do you, do you do do people know when you're lurking though? Is it like can they like can they see that it's um your handle or? No, I don't think so because um I mean the groups I'm in like on Facebook I'm yeah. in the Australian YouTubers one yeah. but there's like so many people in there. Yeah. Um, there's a Perth YouTubers one which I am an admin for because yeah. we made it like ten years ago. Yeah. But I don't really. I, I mean, I lurk and I post once in a while if someone wants advice, yeah. I'll give them advice. Yeah. But yeah, I just generally. What what would what makes you go to that and go and reach out to that one person? Is it is there like um, is it like something they? It's like a question that you really empathise with, yeah. or it's um, like an argument you want to start. Uh, yeah, I have started arguments. See, I, won't, I won't lie. I have started some arguments. Yeah. Um. Yeah. If if I have an opinion, I'll share it. But mm. like, if if I'm really passionate about it, I'll share yeah. it. But usually, if people are asking, oh, like you know, I just started out and it's doing well and. Um, and I don't know how to do my taxes, mm. and I'm like, oh, what well, do you want me to pass you on my accountant, yeah. like stuff like that, so it's just to help them out. Yeah. Or if they're starting out and they're asking, oh, which camera should I get? Then I just say, use oh, well, phone. just use yeah, your phone. Yeah, you don't yeah. need a camera. Yeah, just like um, yeah, because I feel I feel for them because when I first started, I I didn't have anything. Yeah. And it was really hard to find information back in the day. Yeah, so it, it was it was like there was Flickr and there was uh, I guess like a few small community groups. But yeah, back it's, then. But it's it it was it's. I, I think the uh, crazy thing with YouTube is every time you want to learn something, especially mm. with photography now, oh, it's, it's everywhere. Yeah, you yeah, you can just. It's, 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 I think the hard part I would I always look up with, like especially with um, YouTube videos, um, is often it's like the information's there, but the person presenting it is really really boring. Oh uh, yeah. And that's that's often like one of the really hard things. It's like mm. oh I really love what you're saying, but you're putting me to sleep. Yeah. Um, and I, I think especially with like tutorial videos, it's why mm. a lot of those guys who. Um, and girls who seem quite like crazy yeah. um, you, you you're watching them because it's like almost um, it, it's n it's not a train wreck yeah. but it's a lot more entertaining, entertaining just because yes. they're um, like uh, out there yeah. um, and oh we've got a question from Aaron yeah. um, um, hi hey guys when yeah. Kim you work with the brand do they just trust you create your creative interpretation and style mm -hmm. or do they ask for a spe pre um, specific uh, oh, yes. creative or have restraints that you need to work with them. Oh yeah, so um, it depends on the brand. Yep. I've worked with brand. Oh, I've worked with brands where they wanted me to do something specific, and yeah. I didn't want to do it, and it's yeah. so annoying dealing with them because mm. um, I know what works for my audience. So yeah. Usually, yeah. I tell them like, look, give me the brief, tell yeah. me what you want me to say, but I want to do it in my own way. Yeah. And most clients are like, yeah, sure, because we trust you. Yeah. But there are some that are like, no, we want you to do it this way. 
Because we've got 20 other people saying the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah. and when that happens, I turn yeah. them down. Because yeah. I, I just don't want to work with them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And yeah. Um, what was the final thing? Yuki is very cute. Oh, that's my dog. <laughs> oh, my dog. Oh, I miss her so much. Uh, yeah. I, I've got a, I've got a, um, my, well, my sister's sausage dog because oh. I'm staying with family and she's, yeah, yeah she's uh, yeah. very, very cute. Mine's, but. um, she's a Pomeranian, yep. um, but she's in Perth with my family. Yep. She's a family dog, but uh, I yep. really miss her. I haven't seen her in like <laughs> seven months because of the lockdowns. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah it's, cr- it's, it is crazy. Yeah. Um, is there anyone else who has questions right now as well? Like, guys, if you feel, if you have one, just, just throw them out there. We're yeah. absolutely happy to kind of like, um, talk about yeah. them. Um, I guess the, the other question I have on the back end of that then is like, um, I mean, obviously you're going to turn people down, but, mm. but is there any example where what, what's, um, did you, did, was it when you started getting these like clients reaching out to you? Yeah. What, um, is there anyone you reached out to as well? Like it did good, did it go um, both ways or was it always I... them coming to you? I'm super bad at reaching out to people. I um, I generally don't do it. Um, even with friends, I'm um one of those people where like I, I will hang out with you, but I generally won't message you yeah, first. Yeah. But when it comes to brands, yeah, I haven't reached out to any brand before. Um, they usually come to me, mm. but now I well I'm with an agency, so yeah. um they deal with that for yeah, me, which is yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, and Sharina is saying, has there ever been a time where you worked with a client, um, and they were not what you expected? Ah. Uh, Hmm. No, not really. Because yeah. um, you can generally like know what the client when, is like when you talk to them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you, I, I think the funny one from I've I've seen is like a client who's like they're like really like scared about giving you the brief. They want they want to be like, hey, here's like an NDA and stuff yeah. like that. Have you had a few where you like then you see like? Uh, yeah. no, not really. Yeah. Um, like I guess for me, the only thing that comes to my mind is there was a client that sounded like, um, how to say it, like really mean yeah. um, and I was not looking forward to working with them because the way they talked to me was really rude. Um, just over email? Was yeah, it just emails, really blunt? Yeah, yeah. Like really rude and um, they wanted me to film a certain way and mm. I was like, no, this is not going to work and we were just kind of going back and mm. forth. But when I actually met them in person, they were so nice and um, it was, I was just really <laughs> confused. I was like, but why were you so rude to me in emails? I, I, I think I think some people with their like email etiquette, it's yeah. like it's, it's often really hard to tell where they kind of sit. Yeah. Um, like, so, like, we've kind of, like, covered off a lot already, which mm. is kind of, like, pretty crazy. Um, mm. Like, I'm trying to think what's, uh, there's a question that tipped my tongue, and it's going to come to me, but yep. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to give it words. Um, like, you, at the moment, like, uh, things have obviously changed a lot. Um, were... Do you find your work is like seasonal in the sense that you get more in summer and less oh, yes. in winter? Yeah, and, definitely. And what, what, how do you deal with that? Um, oh, so like, I guess with content creation, you just never know because it's not stable. Yeah. Um, so like some months there's a lot of work, some months there's um, not at all. So for example, busy months would be in December because yeah. you know, Christmas and like, you know, especially makeup brands, they want to push out everything. Yeah. January's dead for everyone because like yeah. no one has everyone, money. Everyone, everyone's, <laughs> everyone's broke. Money. Yeah, they're yeah, all they spend their money. In December. Yeah, um, end of financial year as well is also really busy because um, clients just want to spend the rest of their money and stuff on um, campaigns. But um, how I deal with it is, unfortunately, um, when it comes to busy times, most of my videos are sponsored and yeah. I just have to do it. Yeah. And then, um, but I do have a period where I have no sponsorships as well. So it's, I, I feel like it kind of balances out. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Like it's, uh, I, I feel like if you end up just doing like, I find if I just do just my personal work or if I mm-hmm. just do just like paid work, I, I need to find that middle ground. Yeah. Um, like you said, you just, otherwise you end up sick of it. Yeah, definitely. Is yeah. there... Um, I know Gabby's got a question. I'm gonna I'm gonna come to that in a second. Um, but I know I'm gonna forget this one if I don't say it. Yeah. Um. So with that though, one of the big things is like, um, is there a way that you have found to stop burnout? Because that's obviously a big thing yeah. as well. Um. I've to be honest, I've burnt out a couple of times. Yeah. And it got yeah. to a point where I quit YouTube for like two mm-hmm. months because mm-hmm. I was like, I just can't do it. Um. I, the very first time I guess I burnt out was when. I moved away from Japan because I just had enough of everything. Mm. I was like, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. I moved away and then I went on like a trip to Europe and I just didn't even touch my yeah. phone or social media for two months, which was great. Um, but I then, a break almost. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah I feel like, like I just a, needed it. Yeah. Um, I think the problem was I was trying too hard to make crazy videos. So for example, yeah. back then I was making like big videos like 
a hundred things to do in Japan, a mm. hundred things to do this place, yeah. and like those things take setting, forever to yeah, make. Yeah, setting setting yourself really high yeah. expectations. Um, and then I had this mindset where like, look, I have to make it better and better. Yeah. And then I just stress myself out, and then I just. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's really common for creatives. Yeah. I, I I don't think that's unusual. It's like this: you set yourself high expectations. Yeah. So um, definitely like over the past two months, especially, um, I kept on doing that because yeah. um i had a few big videos planned for this yeah. year which obviously i'm not going to upload now because yeah. no one's traveling <laughs> but like um yeah like that really affected me and then i just realized to be honest like maybe two weeks ago yeah. when i thought hey maybe i should take a step back mm. and just make videos that make me happy maybe because yeah. i'm trying too hard to put in too much time and effort into videos where i'm not happy making it and yeah can tell. yeah 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 i definitely think that comes through with an audience mm. um like it's in it's like you you I'm guessing you feel quite um, like not responsible, but you want you want to do right by them as well. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So I mean that kind of leads quite well into Gabby's question. Yeah. Um, so hey guys, Kim, great to see you live on Zoom. I follow Buzz Beauty, yes. um, Bub's Beauty, um, too for a long time. How do you deal with privacy issues when posting photos or videos into public channels? I love posting photos or videos, but lately I have this insecurity um, about social media. Ah, uh, to be honest, like the older I get, yeah the less I post on social media. I used to post a lot back when I was younger, but like this year, to be honest, like I haven't posted much mm. at all. And it's, I feel the same way. Like, um, like for me, I keep my private life private mm. and my YouTube life separate. So yeah. for me, I don't really post much about like my husband and stuff. Yeah. like, like no one really cares. <laughs> really, right? Like no one cares. Um, but have you have you dragged him into a few videos though? I have. Yeah. Um, like he's in some of them. Yeah. But like because we just keep everything yeah. separate. Like it's and he's not on social media. Mm. It's weird if he's in my videos, I guess. Yeah. And he feels awkward, so I try yeah. not to. Yeah, yeah. yeah you don't do want to like um. I guess it's like it's almost like bringing your uh, partner. To yeah, work. exactly. <laughs> um, and also like I know like eventually if I have kids like yeah. much later, not now, mm. but um. Like, I know I don't want them on social media. Yeah. I don't want to post them at all. Like, you know, just in case. Um, yeah, you want, I, I guess, yeah. It's, I guess that's the thing yeah. as well as like, um, doing doing this stuff is like a, a creative outlet, yeah. not a personal outlet. Yeah, yeah and it yeah. works for some people. Like, I know there are lots of people that do like vlogs with their kids and family mm -hmm. and it works for them. Yeah. But for me, it doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. I feel like, the older I get, the less I want to share on social media. Yeah. Um, so yeah, for me, I try not to think about it too much. And most of the content I post, like it doesn't really invade my privacy because I'm just posting like an outfit photo I yeah. know, at town hall or something yeah. like that. And that yeah. Just, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Really. Do you, I, I, I read like a really great article um, quite a while ago now. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the funniest things was, it was like a lot of um, like middle range, uh, I guess like influencers in, in the US um, mm. who who are getting to the like a hundred thousand um, K kind of mm. status but then not making enough money so they were still oh, working yes. in cafes and things yes. and like people were coming up to them and going why do you have a real job yeah exactly um, I mean for me I back then yeah when, when I was on like a hundred K I was working at cotton on yeah. In retail yeah yeah um, yeah that paid pretty well yeah and I, I was only there because I wanted to save money to go to Japan yeah Working at Conanon made more than YouTube, so like, yeah. you know, it made sense for me to, um, you know, work there. But I feel like these days, a lot of people are like, oh no, I just want to do YouTube. Mm. And they're not making enough to survive, but you have to be realistic about it, yeah, I think. Yeah. So it, I mean, as we were saying before, it's, it's just managing those expectations. Yeah, so like, you can't expect to make so much money, and it really depends, like, um, on what you do as well, and where your viewers are. Yeah. So, I guess... For me, um, yeah, I worked in retail for a while, and right now um, I mainly do YouTube and I work freelance. Yeah. So, but like I know that it's not going to last forever. Yeah. And I feel like maybe in a couple of years I'm just gonna find a normal job. Yeah, know? yeah. And that's okay. Yeah, yeah. no, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything with that you're kind of like, there's an area that you're now interested in learning about with that? Um, hmm. Like, to be honest, I always thought I was gonna go back and back and work like maybe in marketing yeah or like maybe graphic design even though i never like study graphic design i've got yeah. experience now yeah yeah um, absolutely i guess making videos content for companies yeah. so i was thinking about doing that um i actually got scout or not scouted um headhunted yeah um for google like last year but i turned it down because i was just i've just been really busy mm -hmm. but yeah maybe something like that yeah yeah absolutely yeah. I, I think the other thing as well is like when you do it for yourself mm. um you're doing everything not yes. just like a part of 
um, like you're obviously a marketing job, mm-hmm. you're just doing just marketing for a company. Yeah, whereas for a company. You're literally marketing yourself so other companies work yes. with you. So it's kind of, it's a pretty crazy kind of like yeah. um, all hat sort of job. Yeah. As you said, now having an agency. Um, it makes things so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. How, how much time before that happened um, was it taking up, like managing those kind um, of relationships? Well, for me, I'm first of all, I'm super bad at emails. I, I never respond to them. Like, it's so bad. But I get stressed out with emails. Um, I hate negotiating pay yeah, and stuff. So yeah. I'm bad at that. Um, so I would, like, put that off until, like, you know, a week later. And then the client's like, hey, like, are you still interested to work with mm. us? I'm yeah. like, well, yeah, I am. But, like, you know, yeah. it's... Um, so it's, it's saved me so much time and stress. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, so I have an agency in Sydney. I only joined them two years ago and yeah they've been great they they deal with the clients for me yeah yeah Yeah. okay so cal has a question um when you're filming vlogs at home or around your home area are you cautious about what you film Mm. Uh, making sure you don't reveal too much about where you live and making sure your mail on the table with your address is put away and hidden yes yes definitely um (laughs) i mean you said you spend a lot of time in posts as well so have you have you found yourself catching out that like you've been like ah i need to refilm that yes yes all the time so (laughs) in japan when i lived in japan so for some reason, people want to find out where you live. And I don't <laughs> understand why. Like, there's just people that are interested in, yeah, in Japan. Yeah, like, I'm not yeah. saying, like, all yeah. of them are like this, but a lot of them oh, are strange. Curious. Like, Cur- almost, like over, overly yeah, curious. Yeah, like, really yeah. strange. And yeah. they just want to find out where you live. And I don't understand why mm. you want to do that. Because, mm. um, like, I mean, the people I watch on YouTube, I don't care where they live. Like, yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't understand why. So, in Japan, um, I had a rule where, like, I would not vlog around my house i'll only vlog once i get into like a big city area yeah so no one knew where i lived in japan yeah. um once i moved away i just told people where i live because yeah. it doesn't matter anymore but in australia um it's the same thing like people no actually people don't care in australia mm. where you live but in japan they care yeah. and that was yeah. really weird so but yeah like i do be careful like if you know my dress is on like a letter i would yeah. flip that around or put that away and then i'll film yeah, um, yeah. i don't show like much of my well, like when I filmed in Japan, I would not film outside my balcony because yeah, yeah. people can figure out where you live. Yeah. Um, in Australia, like yeah, it's not so bad because people don't care as much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think it's it's it is one of those funny ones, um, like finding that like balance, uh, making sure it's like approachable, but at the same time, it's um, you're not you're not saying to your audience, I'm a, I'm worried about like you knowing too much about me. Yeah, is, exactly. Is, 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 how how do you manage that? And I when then we'll get um, yeah. Like that. Next um, I to be honest, I don't share much of my personal mm. life online. So do you, do you talk about the fact that do you, does your audience know that? Do you say yes. yeah, yeah? Yeah, I've I've mentioned to them. I, was, I just don't yeah. feel comfortable. Yeah. Um, and and they're actually okay with it. Yeah. Most of my viewers, um, I asked them in a video how old they were. Yeah. A lot of them were like in their thirties to sixties. Yeah. So because they're older, they understand. Yeah. Um, I feel like the younger viewers, they they just want to know everything about yeah. you and then whatever they see on youtube they believe oh this is real life yeah yeah but it's yeah, not. yeah 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 so yeah, yeah. so um Shireen is asking um did you find your agency or did, did they find you oh uh, so they actually reached out to me yeah. i knew about them ages ago and i always wanted to join them because they're known um or well, they're well known in australia yeah and i really wanted to reach out but i was, I was too yeah. scared i'm i can you say who they are um yeah so i'm yeah so i'm with um so I'm with Max Connectors. They yeah. are um, a beauty um, agency in, Aus- in Sydney. Yeah, they're they're I, uh, they're they're kind of like a bit of everything because they do a lot of because yeah, they've got like, Max Media Lab. Yeah, is that, yeah. so uh, Max Media Labs the parent company, parent company, and, and then, then you got Max the, Connectors, yeah. which is the agency. So yeah, I knew about them ages ago. I really wanted to join them, yeah. but. Um, I was too scared to reach out, but they reached out to me like two years ago, mm. and of course I was interested. I was like, "Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah I'll join you." <laughs> so um, yeah, they've been really great. Yeah, I mean that's the. I think that's the thing. Like an agency like that, where they've got like a bunch of different people as mm. well, who um, are probably in the same sort of vein. Like, do you mm. do you find um, with that as well? Have you met other um, bloggers who are kind of in mm. a similar sort of position yep. with? Um, has that helped as well? Um, I do meet them at events and stuff, yeah. but um, yeah, you don't like catch up for coffee. Uh, well, these days we haven't because yeah. it's been going on. <laughs> um, but like most of my friends are non YouTubers. Yeah, yeah. Because honestly, when it comes to me, like outside of work, I don't want to talk about YouTube. Yeah, I want to yeah. talk about real life. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. So I mean, that's that's cool though. Managing to keep those two things separate. Yeah, separate. Um, is there any anything that um like you're finding yourself more drawn to now because of the current environment like 
Yeah. Like you, you, you talked about uh, doing different sorts of content, yes. but is there, has it changed the way you talk to your audience as well? No, it's been the same actually. Um, I've always been like pretty honest with my yeah. audience. Like, I don't like the sugarcoat thing. Yeah. <laughs> if there's um some like I, I I always believed in giving like realistic advice. Mm. Um, mm. I don't like I won't tell you to do something if I think it's bad. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I've always been really open. If I don't agree with something, I'll say it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I guess the way I film my content has kind of changed a bit, and I've kind of branched out to doing other things. So I um, revived my gaming channel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been I've been making Animal Crossing videos. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah that, that's been really fun. Yeah. It's different. Yeah. <laughs> that's great though. It's like as you said, you mix it up so it doesn't end up being all the same. Is, yeah. Is there any other questions you guys have as well? So I'm not just talking and talking. <laughs> um, just making sure. Um, yeah and just check it yeah nothing at the moment um do you find your uh, yeah looking back um what would you do differently oh that's a Ooh. difficult one yeah there's um there's a lot i would do differently so um but okay before we answer that the one thing i'll say is like the let's 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 talk about the important mistakes then yeah like is there is there mistakes that you needed to make do you think like yes i think what, so. what, what, what was kind of what are the what have been the big ones where you're like I'm not mm. doing after they haven't. I'm doing that one again. Definitely not reading your contract properly and signing a contract with a company where they screw you over and take your money and do nothing <laughs> for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that. that's. Um, so do you do you do you get do you have a lawyer look at your contracts now? Yeah, um, um, yeah, definitely. Because before, I mean, I just skimmed through it and I was like, yeah, sure, that's fine. Yeah. Um, and then and then it's like in the was it like at the bottom of a page or no? It was right there. Yeah. Um, so okay, so I signed um, a couple of contracts with different companies. Yep. Um, they were YouTube networks, so yep. I'm sure you've heard of them. They were really big back in the day, yep. not anymore, because people have realized that they just suck money yeah, out of you. Yeah. So they take um, a percentage of what you make on YouTube, yep. usually like 20 to 30%. Yeah. Um, I believe for me, I gave away 20%. Yeah. And they promised me all these things. That I yeah. thought, oh yeah, we'll do this and this and that for you. That was not in the contract, mm. which I I was naive. Yeah. I should have like, yeah, yeah, asked them to yeah. put that in the contract. Um, and then what happened was they just took 20% of my income yeah. for two years and they did, did nothing, nothing for me. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah so that's... I've, I, I've, I, I think that's the thing. Like, it's the same for photographers mm -hmm. um, and videographers who end up getting managed. Like, it's yes. like um, being able to do, like, some, it's often worth it, especially for big jobs. Mm -hmm. um, but and, uh, this ties in well with Aaron's question. Um, do, you, do you then have some where you're like, okay... I'm just going to do this personally, um, mm. or does everything go through Max? Um, most things go through Max, because okay. um, pretty much when I get um, a client that sends me an email, I just send it off to them, yeah. um, just because it's easier for them to deal with everything. Yeah, for me. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And mm. I, I, I think with that as well, would you say um, it's easier to have someone else ask for the money or ask yes. for more? Yeah. Yes, because um, I'm bad at that. I can't yeah. do it. Um, usually yeah. when there's like <laughs> um, a campaign, I'm like, can you just talk to my manager? Yeah. And then they deal with everything mm, for mm, me. Mm. Yeah. It, uh, has there been a bit of back and forth in terms of that as well? Like you're like you've been like I I think I'm worth more here or they're like yes, we're gonna yeah. ask for more. Yeah. Um. What I mean you you're saying you is it easy? Do you have like a relationship with your manager where yeah. you can like actually yeah, do definitely. like not? Nah. Yeah. So um. <laughs> yeah. The great thing about Max is that they try and have a like. A casual relationship with you, yeah. where you you can just go out for coffee and yeah. like you know just talk about other stuff rather than just YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and they're great. So if I get a deal where I'm like I'm not happy with it, I just mm. say no. I don't. I feel like um I should be paid more for this, or I'm not happy doing this yeah. campaign because I don't believe in this company mm, or whatever. Mm. And they're they're always okay with yeah. it. And yeah, that's what I love about them. Yeah. So yeah. they they haven't been like you have to do this. No, they're yeah. not like that yeah. at all. Yeah, they're great. I, I I do think it's really funny. I I um worked with um a blogger years and years ago and they mm. um they were sent somewhere and told to use a certain product yep. um during a big event yep and they were photographed with uh oh, competitive competitions <laughs> oh, no, yeah. um and yeah. it ended up everywhere oh, yeah. um have has there i've has there been any times where you've been like i like you've gotten like it sounds like a great thing to mm. get and then they've sent you something and you're like yeah uh, uh to think like not really because yeah. most of the products that i promote are stuff that i actually like yeah um has it has it been never have you ever had a weird moment where you've gone and bought something and then like a day later yes <laughs> yes that has happened it has that's um, that's kind of that's yeah, kind of fun though that happened with um sony actually yeah i um i bought a new camera yeah 
and then like two weeks later they like, um, hey. send me a dm they're like hey do you want to work with us and i was <laughs> like oh well yeah. <laughs> i just spent like 1.5 grand on the camera yeah. but sure did, did you uh did you get the camera and then just sell it then no just no kept it. no yeah, no because yeah. i mean i think that's kind of funny i i had a i had a friend who had that happen with um a product and they were just like i'm gonna take it and just you know put it yeah. on ebay because at least then i get something back <laughs> yeah, yeah. like yeah, brand no. new on a uh, sealed box yeah and so they're still using the product yeah it, i guess i guess it kind of depends on the client as yeah. well if they become if they, yeah, if they comfortable find out that. yeah yeah no like well for me i um i usually keep <laughs> yeah. keep everything um if i like especially for makeup products yeah. i get way too many so i don't use it all obviously um if i don't use it i just give it away to charities yeah. so yeah. i just it, I is just it that when when you say give it away do you have like uh like um like someone or a charity you're like who gets all of it or you just kind of have to I split like it to, up? I like to split it up. Um, <laughs> cause back in Perth, we used to have a, um, like a, like an area where like mm. they had lots of bins. Mm. Um, and I used to like put a few in this bin yeah. and yeah, just, yeah. just trying to mix it up a yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, I think it's kind of funny right now, especially with that, all the like, um, I guess makeup, especially cause it is mm. a product that goes, um, you have to use it or it doesn't, it goes off. Yeah. It's like, you're better off giving away, um, mm then letting it um, go yeah, to waste. Yeah, go to waste, yeah. yeah. So usually for makeup especially, um, I like to give them away to like, um, I like to give them to like uh, women's shelters or like, um, yeah, to like Red Cross, St. Vinnie's and all that. And then they can just resell it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we have a question from Cal. When you were younger, did your parents know you had a YouTube channel? Oh, okay. um, did you? Uh, did they ever watch your videos? And how did you deal with the situation where your family friends were like, I guess judged yes. or looked down or mm. were like real job. Yeah, um, yeah. So what happened for me? Because I started um, when I was like, like twenty years old, mm. and um, I didn't tell anyone. Yeah. Because I was kind of embarrassed as well. I was like, like you don't want your friends and family to watch your videos. It's awkward, right? Because they know <laughs> you in real life. They watch you on, on yeah, like your YouTube yeah. channel, and they're like, "That's not you." Yeah. But um, yeah, no. For me, I never told my parents until the year after like so on my second year of youtube mm. when i got approached by the brand to fly to japan yeah and back then my parents were so scared because like that's unheard of right yeah, yeah 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 so they um and i never traveled alone before yeah. and they were like you're gonna get kidnapped yeah like you're going to japan by yourself and i was like yeah like you know there's this brand they're big brand yeah. and i ended up showing them my channel i was like this is what i've been doing um i got all these subscribers yeah. and views that's why they reached out to me but they were still like skeptical and yeah. they didn't want me to go yeah but back then i was like 22 and i was like well, you can't stop me yeah so yeah. like i still went yeah no i i i, I totally get i think i was yeah. 25 when i went uh freelance and yeah. i'd been i think i had taken like a big um like contract mm. and i i same thing i i got the contract and then i told them so it wasn't yeah. like the i i think it, i yeah and um cal's quite right like it's it's often really hard to kind yeah. of uh, we're, we're kind of saying don't tell them which yeah. is probably not the I best mean, <laughs> yeah like i mean like it depends like yeah. um for me like, i'm glad i told them because mm. then they knew what i was doing yeah. but then like when i moved to japan as well they weren't like happy with that so what i did when i moved to japan yeah. is bad so i don't um, recommend you do this but i got my visa first <laughs> and, then, and then i told them i was like hey yeah. so i got my visa approved to go yeah. to japan so like i'm gonna go in like a couple months and they're like what like i was like yeah i got my visa yeah. so yeah. i'm going yeah um so yeah that happened and yeah i mean they slowly accepted it like yeah. they they weren't happy that i because i went to uni and i did japanese as yeah. a uh, major i actually switched from chemistry because i hated it um and they were not happy with yeah. that because yeah. you know they were the typical asian parents where they wanted me to be a doctor which yeah. wasn't going to happen yeah um but they really wanted that and it took them a long time to accept that I wanted to do this yeah. um, as a career, and yeah, in now they're very happy because like what um because oh, this is like five years ago I got um featured in the West Australian newspaper, yep. and apparently my parents were very happy. Yeah. So my dad was in the office showing like yeah, his co-workers. Pride. Yeah, he yeah, was happy yeah. about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, there's but the people that yeah look down on you and tell you to get a real job. I'm just like, have you had a real job? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, yeah, but I mean, like, I, I feel like, yeah. no, I mean, not to you, but I feel like saying that to a lot of yeah. people. It's like, have you had a real job? Yeah. Do you enjoy it? I, yeah. I like my job. Like, yeah. it's, it, it, I, I think the the thing as well is like the jobs that we're talking about now, they just didn't exist. Um, yeah, they didn't. I, I think the other hard part is um, it's kind of like a lot of jobs where I guess creative roles. Mm. It's it's um, there's so much out of your control, like yeah. timing. Yeah, um, definitely. But 
even if it doesn't go anywhere, I think the big thing that I and I'm sure you'd agree is like it gives you other skills anyway. It, yeah, exactly. So like even now, um, I mean, I never studied um photography graphic design yeah. videos but i can get a job in that like yeah. i I've, um, I've actually had companies approach me being, being like oh do you want to work with us um unfortunately i had to turn them down because i've got a lot of like a lot on my plate mm. so i don't have time to work full time yeah. for someone else but um yeah like you learn all these skills that people don't realize and also because a lot of people on the internet they they think YouTubers don't do anything. Like they just, <laughs> a lot of people think I like I just sit at home. So, and just, yeah, it's like it takes you like, ten minutes to yeah, do that. It looks yeah. it looks so simple. It looks easy. Yeah, yeah but yeah, like it takes yeah. a whole week to make that yeah, one video because yeah. they think I just sit at home and play with makeup all day. Yeah, I'm like you know yeah. I don't. It's it's, not, it's it's a lot of time and yeah. I, it's it's like even even when you're good at it, mm. it still um it still takes. It takes so long. Yeah. 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 Um, and people uh, just don't see it. Effort, yeah. Effortless, yeah, but that's that's a good like good content looks effortless. Yes, you know? that's true. And that's yeah. that's I think the hard part to kind of explain to someone yeah. who's not making it. Um, yeah. And that's that's probably one of the big things, and you'd agree that anyone who's watching mm-hmm. this should really understand is if you're if it if it's if it's hard, mm. that's not a bad thing. It's that's not hard a bad start. thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, when when people tell me to get a real job, I'm just like. Okay, cool. Like whatever. Yeah. Like I mean, I'm I'm happy with yeah, what I do. Yeah, um, yeah. I get paid for it, so yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, um, that's a job. Yeah. Um, is there any other questions, guys? Otherwise, we will uh, let you go, so we're not keeping you all night, and you can grab dinner. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. I I think I I'm pretty um happy with everything we yeah. kind of discussed. I'm just thinking, if there's anything else yeah. here? Um, like, is there? Is there anything you'd kind of like to leave um, people with in terms of like, um, like, I mean, YouTube and uh, right now, especially like, I, I think the crazy thing with George's um, and mm. little plug here with our road stuff, yeah. um, like the we're seeing a crazy amount of like people starting podcasts, which oh, is yes. always real yeah. on gamers getting getting on microphones, yeah. which is which is nuts, um, which is awesome, mm. but it's it's obviously now now's like a good time to start because you've got is, the spare yeah. time, but. Yeah. It's obviously quite hard. It is, yeah. Well, from okay, so like an advice that I always give to people when they're first starting mm. out as a content creator for any platform, just don't think about the numbers because that makes you depressed. Like, yeah, yeah, like it's just they've um, got a million. I want, I want a million. Yeah, yeah. and then you can and, it, and don't compare yourself to other people. Like, just because someone else is doing well and you're not, it doesn't mean that you're not doing well as well. I just yeah. just stop comparing because I I used to compare myself a lot to you know people way bigger than me. Yeah. And then I, I look at their video and, and like, you know, I, I make something similar yeah. and I don't get like as many views yeah, as they yeah, do. Attraction, yeah. yeah, but like, of course that's going to happen because yeah. they're heaps bigger. So you just have to um, focus on yourself. Just yeah. focus on making content that you love and don't look at the numbers at the start. Yeah. And eventually, like if you're making good quality content, someone's going to pick it up and it's going to grow. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's and I, as we were saying before, it's like it, it's not necessarily the goal either. This was never mm. this was never the dream. It was no, just, it was never something yeah. I thought I would be doing like 10 years yeah. later. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely. So it's like, um, so I, th- I think the biggest thing, we, and we both agree on this, is just like, um, do it for the passion first. Yes, for the passion, not for yeah. the money. Because yeah. I know people that start for the money, they get very disappointed. Because I'll, I'll tell you now, the first <laughs> month I made twenty eight cents, and I <laughs> do remember this number because I was so happy. I, was, I yeah, made twenty eight yeah, cents. Yeah. <laughs> and then the next month I made sixty eight, sixty six cents, something like that. And then the next month I made like a dollar thirty, yeah. and I was like, yeah. So you don't make any money at the start. Yeah, yeah. But um, and it's not a it's not a quick process. No. Either. But at the time, I was so happy. I yeah. made that. Yeah, it's like I, it, it, it proves that I can, I can, I can like the wheels are starting to turn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. Well, on that note, because um, we haven't had any questions, we'll let you go. Yeah. Um, and thank you so much for coming. Uh, for we'll be doing um, these regularly. Uh, mm-hmm. Have a good evening. Bye.